हेलो एवरीवन आई एम स्निग्धा भारद्वाज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आईटीएस कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी आई वेलकम टू माय आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय सेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओपन कंपार्टमेंट मॉडल फॉर एक्स्ट्रा वेस्कुलर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो हेयर वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन कंपार्टमेंट ओपन मॉडल फॉर आई बोलस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड आई इन्फ्यूजन and now we are going to discuss about extravascular administration so let's get started in extravascular administration a drug undergoes the process of absorption before it reaches systemic circulation extravascular administration basically involves all the uh, administration given orally right or other than iv routes uh, the uh, other uh, administration in, in uh, includes in uh, your extravascular administration where the drug is getting absorbed first and then reaching to systemic circulation fine so the absorption of a drug from the gastrointestinal tract basically uh, the oral tablets or oral any kind of formulation first go to that git tract through uh, to the stomach and then it will get absorbed into the systemic circulation and distributed all over the uh, body and then uh, metabolized and followed by excretion so the absorption of a drug from the gastrointestinal tract or any other extravascular site is dependent on the following factors what are those physico chemical properties of drug physico chemical properties of the dosage form and anatomy and physiology of the absorption site so here all the three factors are important as the physico chemical properties of drug is important concern that the solubility the partition coefficient based on these physico chemical properties of drug drug is getting absorbed through the git tract physico chemical property of the dosage form what type of dosage form is this like tablet solid semi solid solutions uh, suspension emulsions so all these uh, type of different dosage forms have their own uh, 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 characteristics and it will impact on the absorption process of the drug anatomy and physiology of the absorption site uh, what type of uh, you know uh, we are talking about git so uh, different different target sites and absorption sites are there through skin uh, the drug absorption rate may be different as compared to git tract so all these uh, consideration comes under uh, the uh, the factor affecting uh, extravascular uh, absorption of drug so when drug is administered by extravascular route like oral rectal and other routes absorption is prerequisite for its therapeutic effect so basically in iv bolus administration and iv infusion we uh, were uh, administering drug directly into the systemic circulation in uh, by means of injections right but in this extravascular administration basically drug is first absorbed from the barriers uh, or the um, uh, site of absorption and then reaches to systemic circulation the active part of the drug remaining is absorbed and reaches to systemic circulation and that will be responsible to exert its medicinal activity uh, on the receptors so the rate of absorption may be described mathematically as a zero order or either first order processes like uh, based on the type of uh, uh, dosage form we can uh, assumes uh, that the formulation can fall can be followed uh, zero order or uh, first order kinetics so rate of absorption basically can be defined uh, through these orders so first we'll talk about in extravascular administration depending on the physico chemical property of drug physico chemical property of dosage form anatomy and physiology of the organ through which or absorption site through which the absorption is taking place so the, depending on three these three factors we can uh, assume that i drug may be uh, absorbed either following zero order kinetics or first order kinetics now the zero order absorption model in extravascular administration is similar to that for constant rate infusion yes we have discussed in the last session that 
uh, in uh, IV infusion that uh, it is following zero order kinetics. That means, the uh, level of the drug in the plasma is constant, it is not varying uh, or it is not deviation from the uh, from its uh, concentration at that particular time and it is like constant rate that point is generally considered as steady state concentration. So, this model is basically similar to that for the rate constant rate infusion that means drug at site extravascular site drug at extravascular site and are not zero order absorption rate constant blood and other body tissues. So, first the drug is reaching to that absorption site and then you following zero order absorption kinetics it is going to blood and other body tissues and eliminated uh, finally. So, uh, this is how the zero order kinetics is following in extravascular administration. So, all the equation that explains the plasma concentration time profile for constant rate IV infusion are also applicable to this model. So, what we have uh, uh, study and discussed the derivations and equation for uh, following zero order kinetics to get the desired value. So, the same equations will be followed here. Pharmacokinetic of drug absorption. So, in this case the rate of change of the amount of drug that is dx by dt in the body following extravascular administration is equal to the difference between the rate of absorption. That means, I repeat the rate of change of amount, the rate of change at which time the concentration is getting changed in the blood or blood plasma or body tissues uh, in the body following extravascular administration when we administer the drug extravascularly is equal to the difference between the rate of absorption and rate of elimination. That means, how much drug is absorbed and how much is eliminated this uh, uh, confirms the change in rate of drug right amount of drug in body plasma uh, blood plasma and body tissues. So, the equation will be like d x by d t rate of change of drug amount d uh, it will be like d x a by d t minus d x c by d t that means drug absorbed and drug eliminated. So, this is how you can calculate the uh, change of amount of drug in blood at particular time that uh, that is why we always uh, take time under every uh, uh, condition because we are observing the change of uh, amount of drug at particular time right. When we have administered the drug extravascularly from that point of time until it, it gets eliminated we always observe value with along with the time parameter. The curve can be divided into various parts based on relative magnitudes of the rate of absorption and the rate of elimination at different points. You must uh, remember uh, in our last session that we have uh, uh, calculated the AUC uh, using trapezoidal rule. So, this is how we uh, can get this type of graph for every type of administration because we are taking the plasma concentration. So, we can make uh, these particular concentration time profile curves for every type of administration process. So, in that case first is your uh, absorption phase. So, let me explain this type of graph we have discussed earlier. So, we will be discussing one by one the phases in extravascular administration. So, in this phase absorption phase is the first phase the whole dose is available for absorption at zero time. When we administered a dose or a drug to the uh, through extravascular administration. So, uh, that we consider 100 percent drug is available for absor getting absorbed. So, at that time 0 time we consider the whole dose uh, is available for absorption. The amount of drug at the absorption site declines as a function of time. Yes, as the time passes, so the absorption rate will be lesser than the elimination rate. So, this means uh, that uh, in at initial times the absorption will be high. Uh, whereas, elimination will be comparatively low, but the, as the time passes uh, the elimination of the, that particular drug will be 
higher as compared to absorption. Therefore, rate of drug absorption is greater than the rate of drug elimination. So, this uh, equation uh, present that the absorption rate is uh, greater than the rate of elimination at that particular point of time. Next, plateau phase will come after absorption phase. Absorption of a drug into the systemic circulation gradually increases the plasma level of drug. Yes, once it is getting absorbed and reaching to systemic circulation that the drug plasma level will get increased, right. This increases the rate of elimination of the drug. So, as it comes to systemic circulation, it is also getting eliminated simultaneously. So, it will, con uh, uh, it will uh, simultaneously increase the elimination rate as well as absorption rate. So, the rate of absorption of drug decreases with time and rate of elimination of drug increases. As I have told you just now that once it is reached into systemic circulation, the rate of absorption will get reduced and the rate of elimination will be higher as compared to absorption rate. So, this is this situation comes under that plateau phase and uh, the rate of elimination either will be equal to rate of uh, absorption. So, the rate of absorption of drug decreases with time and elimination will get increased. The time at which rate of absorption become equal becomes equal to rate of elimination is called the peak drug concentration T max. Yes, at that particular time uh, that uh, the drug is uh, at that point the rate of absorption is equal to rate of elimination and in plasma concentration peak concentration will be called as C max. Although we have discussed in an, uh, previous sessions, but again uh, here is important for extravascular administration. Post absorption phase, the rate of elimination of the drug is faster than the rate of absorption. You can see the equation now here the absorption rate becomes lesser than the elimination rate that means post absorption phase, post absorption phase that means downfall of the graph will be considered as post absorption phase. The initial rise will be considered as absorption phase and the peak point will be considered as plateau phase. Okay. So, in this uh, the rate of absorption is lesser than the rate of elimination. In elimination phase basically when the drug at the absorption side becomes depleted or degraded and uh, uh, done with the work the rate of drug absorption approaches 0. Now, at this elimination point or phase no absorption will take place further and all the drug remaining drug will get eliminated. So, therefore, the rate of change in the amount of drug in body during the elimination phase is described by first order kinetics as no absorption is taking place only elimination is taking occurring. So, the uh, equation will become dxc by dt because we are just talking about elimination part and minus kex right. So, x is equal to amount of drug in the body at any time a k overall elimination rate constant. So, this is how we have different uh, phases in uh, reaching the uh, pharmacokinetic profile of a drug first absorption plateau phase, uh, post absorption and elimination phase. So, this is how uh, we can uh, represent these uh, data in the form of chart, yes plasma drug concentration time uh, axis administration of drug this point represent administration of drug and now this onset of action because this are, it is ready to be to be absorbed right onset of action that it is ready to be absorbed from the uh, site of absorption and now absorption phase uh, is occur in this phase elimination uh, is lesser than the absorption phase rate and then this at this point of C max this is the point where plateau phase we call it. Now, uh, at this point of time the uh, maximum concentration reaching time is called T max and the pl peak plasma concentration is generally called C max. In this uh, point uh, it is generally known as plateau phase where absorption rate is equal to elimination rate and 
this downfall is your post absorption phase or we can say where the absorption uh, rate of absorption is lesser than the elimination. In this phase the elimination of drug will be higher as compared to our drug absorbed. So, this uh, is toxic level therapy MSC maximum safe concentration effective concentration and sub therapeutic levels that means the uh, a window between MSC and MEC will be called as therapeutic range. So, uh, of be, uh, sub therapeutic level uh, this point so uh, followed by this point the elimination only elimination of drug will occur no absorption will be uh, occur uh, will be uh, done because of uh, only remaining drug will be eliminated from this point of time. So, this is how this that is why it is called uh, plasma uh, drug plasma concentration profile curve as we are uh, identifying plus different different level of plasma uh, uh, concentration of drug with respect to time. So, uh, I hope you understand this plot uh, with each and every point. When, I is, uh, when a drug is administered by extravascular route the rate of absorption may be described by mathematical 0 or first order process as I have uh, uh, told you earlier. A large number of plasma concentration time profile can be described by one compartment model with first order absorption and elimination. So, a uh, large number of uh, 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 those uh, uh, drug administration who following first order kinetics most of the like tablets and capsules. So, they show uh, uh, concentration dependent absorption profiles like this graph is basically uh, first order kinetics concentration dependent as a uh, how much dose you are administering it is showing that much peak uh, post absorption phases and all. So, if it is like constant type of uh, concentration in pl uh, plasma, so it will not fall down it will be like constant. So, that is uh, basically a constant rate profile of drug difference between zero order and first order kinetics are given in this picture give below the this is Cartesian plot and <coughs> this is semi logarithmic plot. So, from both the plotters we can identify the drug concentration and in semi logarithmic plot basically the linear uh, um, line pattern will be uh, obtained based on the slope uh, formula and calculations using this calculations. So, this is how we can obtain these both graphs I have discussed earlier for all already in IV bolus administration and IV infusion. So, now derivation how we can get the uh, equation for that particular calculation of drug amount in plasma. So, zero order absorption, absorption is characterized by constant rate of absorption. After extravascular administration the rate of change in amount of drug in a body is difference between the rate of input that means absorption and rate of elimination. This is now the uh, uh, it becomes dx by dt dx ev extravascular absorption and extravascular elimination by dt. So, this is equation 1 quickly we can have a look absorption phase. Uh, in uh, absorption phase the rate of absorption will be high and elimination will be low at peat plasma concentration that is plateau concentration uh, the uh, both the phases absorption and elimination processes will be equivalent and the and the elimination phase the elimination rate is higher and uh, then the absorption basically no absorption will occur in elimination. So, this is a brief look of that particular uh, uh, stand uh, the graph we have discussed earlier. So, K A is the first order of absorption rate constant and X A is the amount of drug at the absorption site remaining to be absorbed right. So, uh, that is A R A. So, basically first order in first order kinetics K A is the first order absorption rate constant and X is always the amount of drug remaining in the blood plasma to be absorbed to be absorbed. So, integration of the equation will be like x uh, if we put uh, k first order kinetics and 
uh, x a amount of drug remaining to be absorbed. So, we will get this equation x k a f x 0 by divided by k a k e. These are constant of absorption and constant of elimination. This is drug amount fraction of the drug remaining to be absorbed. This is absorption rate constant and this is the total drug concentration and uh, e my power minus k e t e to the power minus k a t. So, this is the in, uh, this will get after integration of this equation and then transform it in into concentration terms we will get C. C represent the drug plasma concentration uh, k a f x 0 the remaining v d because x is equal to C uh, by v d. So, we will put the value of uh, x in terms of C and v d. So, we will get this uh, uh, equation. So, first after uh, studying that zero order kinetics first order absorption model basically uh, what it tells a drug that enters the body by a first order absorption process gets distributed in the body according to one compartment kinetics. Basically it is considering that the whole body is considered as single compartment and drug is entering and eliminating through the body and it is eliminated by first order process the model can be depicted as follows the drug at extravascular side first order absorption blood and other body tissues elimination phases. So, it is similar like zero order kinetic, but the basically at zero order kinetics uh, the drug is independent on the uh, the absorption is independent drug uh, concentration independent whereas, in first order kinetics it is uh, dependent on concentration of drug. So, the differential form of the drug equation is d x by d t k x k e x. So, d x by d t is the concentration at that particular time and k a x a is a constant and x is the amount and minus k e x uh, elimination constant and the amount at elimination. So, k a is a first order absorption rate constant x a amount of drug at the absorption site remaining to be absorbed. Integration of this equation we will get this equation right and after simplifying this uh, equation transforming concentration the equation will become C k a f x o v d k a minus k e and the f stands for fraction of drug absorbed systemically the fraction of drug absorbed systemically that means, we can easily identify the remaining amount of drug to be absorbed if we are putting fraction of drug uh, um, uh, already absorbed in the drug plasma. So, this is how we can uh, simplify this equation. Uh, so, I will once again I will highlight my presentation what I have discussed in this part. So, basically we are uh, discussing about extravascular administration in extravascular administration uh, zero order and first order kinetics are uh, followed. So, zero order uh, uh, kinetics for rate, absor uh, uh, rate absorption and first order uh, kinetics for rate absorption uh, have been discussed and they have different different uh, phases and they are different mathematical for formulas to be uh, 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 derived like uh, we can identify drug plasma concentration using these formulas and uh, uh, we have also discussed different parameters affecting uh, zero order kinetics like uh, how the drug is getting affected during uh, when it is administered through extravascular uh, administration. So, uh, uh, these are references and I hope you understand the extravascular administration kinetics part in next session we will be continuing with the same topic till then take care and stay safe. Thank you.